Hey, welcome back. Playing more Minecraft. Um, last time I set up the quarry here. Um, I finished, so I moved it again. So I started going. Um, I think it's got quite a bit done. I uh, probably need to move it soon. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do today, but I figured it out. Um, I need to make a farm. Um, I've been expanding the uh, ME network. You see most of these are full now because the quarry had to make some new ones and they're filling up. Um, and then I've been running into a problem where I've been running out of channels. Like you can only have so many devices um, on your network so, and you need more of these controllers. Um, but the problem now is that these cables, these glass cables, won't carry enough um, channels, so you need these big boy cables, but these big boy cables require a lot of wool, um, which we don't have. I think I use it all. Yeah. So I want to set up a big farm, um, and that way I can get string, food, anything else we might need. Um, and I can just swap out plants whenever I want to do that. So, uh, I'll, I'll give a quick rundown of what I've done. Um, don't think I've done anything. Oh no, I did do something over here. I added, uh, so we were getting a ton of ores. Uh, I saw it's not done yet, but um, we've got all these ores from the quarry and it's gonna take a while to set them all up or to process them all. So I sent an export bus, so uh, any certain ores in the system will automatically be pumped into here iron copper tin silver lead osmium gold ferrous and aluminum well oh and that backed it up interesting where were you from gold wait okay yeah so gold okay i'll have to keep that in mind um but it'll automatically pump into the pulverizer which will then go into this redstone furnace and then i have an import bus that pulls it out and puts it back into the network. Um, so if you see, if I go to ingot, I've got like 1,200 of these, a couple hundred of all these, and um, so that's pretty good. Uh, I need to set up like a giant wall of these because um, there's a ton of, like I have, like there's multiple of each ore, like there's three lead ore, I think there's several tin ore, yeah, there's five tin ore at least, several copper, and I don't think it fix or picks them up. I think I can do a fuzzy card. I'm not sure, but again, I don't have wool, so um, I need to work on that. So that today I'm gonna work on a big farm. Um, oh yeah, I also did auto crafting for each of the processors and circuits and stuff, uh, so it will like if I need them I can just click craft and then they'll come through here and um, all that stuff I made the QED which I made the ender markers with um, and then I made some molecular assemblers which will auto craft so I have it set to auto craft a couple of things if I need it and then the crafting processors which will auto craft stuff for me um, which it seems it's bugged so I'll cancel that uh, but I think that's pretty much all I've done around here. Um, I made a new axe to clear out some space today. Um, one thing I did decide recently, um, so right now I've got like this, these two islands, um, which I wanted to make more islands and stuff. I think the plan is I want to keep each build like I want to theme each build so maybe I'll make this one um, like the central like AE build and that way um, what I can do is just have one giant AE island um, and then access to anywhere in the world and then make another base where like I'll move the thumbcraft stuff um, because as I've been playing um, I've been coming across some uh, areas that I like, like I think one's over here or something like that. Um, 
like just some really cool terrain and I realized that if I just build um, I won't ever have any reason to go there um, so the idea is if I make like one build the Thumbcraft build and uh, like one is uh, like Arya's Magicka that kind of thing uh, I'll have more of a reason to actually like build bases and I can theme the bases and then look even better um, so I think what I'm going to do I have a couple ideas for this not the greatest but um, it's a little bit different than what's, what was originally planned since I was going to do like Thumbcraft or, like all these mods on their own island um, but if I just do one big island here and then um, if I do one like AE island here then I can have this be like the central like um, everything like power related or like processing that kind of stuff um, I can have here like I'd probably have like any quarries or anything will go into the AE base to be processed and put into the system that kind of thing um, so that's my plan now um, but I still want to get my infrastructure set up a little bit more before I do that um, so today I want to work as I said on a farm um, I made this uh, what is it called why is it stone bound weird um, lumber axe I think I don't remember yeah lumber axe which will chop down the entire tree um, so I'm gonna chop down a couple trees in this area which didn't even absolutely nothing to the durability uh, that's right it doesn't work for that but it chops down the whole thing uh, which is pretty cool um, I don't think it affects the leaves on these guys now but it affects the leaves on the normal vanilla trees so let's clear out a little area here I want the farm to be fairly decent sized or at least like able to be expanded easily um, and then that way I can just like if I need a certain seed then I can just swap it out and then uh, be good so a nice open area would be pretty good oh it's got repair on it sick oh it's had a beehive interesting I also made some uh, adjustments to like the tree farm and uh, whatnot I put some better pipes added some better storage so it should like it was uh, getting jammed because of the amount of items and stuff so I fix that a little bit um, so that's pretty nice okay I need to make a it's like a wireless um, terminal for the AE system I need to do that um, that'd be pretty nice so I can access it anywhere I want okay I think my plan because I want to flatten this out a bit if I vein mine the grass yeah It'll flatten out with this area a little bit. Um, I probably just want to go down one from this layer. And then fill this bit in. I need to clear some inventory space. Um, yeah, here we go. Don't need the great wood. Don't need the, the beans. I've been... Uh, I've been slowly doing more and more off camera just so I can like get to a point where like I can build and whatnot and I'm not just like okay today we're going to do one like minor thing um, like I want to be able to show off more but to do that we need to do more off camera um, which like I haven't been doing major things uh, I think the biggest thing I've been doing is that auto crafting thing um, which is just some basic setup once you uh once you get that going then it's just like adding stuff uh as it goes so let's fill this in 
I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna use a mine factory harvester. Um, I have no idea how loud this is, by the way. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get this area a little bit. Yeah, I've been um like. At the start, I was recording this every day, um, just because I didn't have much else to do at that point, and then also like just because it was the start. Um, but I think I've been having a good. I, I slowed down a little bit too much. I think it was like almost a week between the previous episode and the one before that, um, which one day I'm sure I'll get to that point. But I think I'm still at. Uh, I'm still early enough that I can, please, um, that I can do, like, maybe two episodes a week and still have enough, um, so, I need to find the right pace, I've been, uh, I've been playing a lot of, uh, Fall Guys with some people, and then, uh, I've also recently been, uh, before I started this, series I did uh, Persona 4 I got through that I played it a while ago but never beat it so with it coming out on PC I uh, went through it again I don't know why I filled that up but oh well and then I beat that and I've been uh, going through Persona 3 now which has been taking up a bit of time okay I need to make the um, the three by three shovel to make my life a lot easier. Okay. There we go. Get these strips out. Nice reinforced. Some of these out. Can vein miner like plants too, which is very nice. Let's see. This should be a pretty good size. I think um I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about power, but I think what I want to do is maybe some like um, some chiseled planks, maybe. That'd be pretty nice. Chiseled planks. I don't know if there's chiseled wood. Um, I don't know if it's in this menu. Yeah, it is. Okay, so chiseled planks. No, it doesn't look like there's any chiseled wood. Okay, so yeah, I guess um, woods or planks are going to be what we're going to use for this, but I need to put some stuff away and then I need to make a chisel because I don't have one of those. Um, let's put some of this away. Don't need the bees right now. At some point I will, but not right now. Let's make a chisel. Let's see. Where's the one I'm actually looking for? There we go. I guess this is the version with durability, which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Should be good. I I don't have a like plan at the moment. Um, I kind of want some glass actually. I think there's like clear glass. How do I make that? Oh, I need to s do that. I'll pass. Um, it's more of that. Hmm. I know there's chisel glass. Pigmented glass. Yeah, here's some chiseled glass. Either way, I need to get some glass going. Uh, I think if you pulverize cobble, you get sand. Or gravel, I don't know. Macerator, yeah. Pulverizer, yeah, okay, good. Let's pulverize some of that. And then throw sand in here. Get that glass, take it with us. 
Do we have any other glass in here? We do, okay. Let's see what glass options we have. That one's not too bad, bubble glass or stone frame. Um, borderless glass would be pretty good. I, I'm not sure if they have connected or connected tech. Yeah, connected textures in this. Um, I guess we'll find out. I uh, I had a creeper spawn up here. Uh, there was a blood moon, and even if you're like right next to it, uh, mobs can spawn if there's like even one block without light so there was like I because I placed a machine or something um, it didn't have enough light and it blew up or it's one a creeper which blew up and took out some machines um, which is fun okay so I think hmm I'm a big fan of, I think it's called like Planked. Right, I guess in this it's, yeah, it's these guys. So, let's see. I probably should make a hoe really quick, now that I think about it. Um, oh, I need one other thing while I'm going up. I need to get fluid pipes, and then I need to get, where am I? I, I really just passed it, okay. Let's see. Diamonds. Grab another of these. Oh, the this bug again. For some reason, like it just doesn't like me pressing T after some letters. Um fluid duct. Yes, perfect. We need a servo. It should be good. And then last but not least. We need a reservoir, which we need to make this twice. So we just need some glass and two cauldrons. Um, let's make those. One, two. Oops. I think I can just make this. Wait, what? Oh, you need fused quartz. Oh boy. Do we have what it takes to make an alloy smelter? Almost. Luckily, we're at a point where I can just like, oh, I don't have this. Okay, I guess I'll just make it really quick. Like I have enough resources that it's no problem at all. Um, ooh. Okay, hold on. I can easily do this. I need to set up the drawer wall for this, and then I can craft as many capacitors as I ever need. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, grab that craft this. Cool. Now I can just throw this guy right here. Grab some quartz. I think I need to pulverize it. I'm not sure. Because I don't have uh, much. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright. I guess I should grab some more cobble while I'm here. Finish that up. Put this gravel. I had to uh, change this around. You'll see it's slightly different than before. So I still haven't gotten super used to it yet. Um, the the uh, like I said before with the channels, like I wasn't getting that channel here. Um, so I had to make two more controllers and then push it over to the right. Um, which then I had to push all this stuff up. Okay. I forgot how long this takes. I need a better... I think if I put a capacitor in it... Oh, I need to double layer it. Okay, I can't do that then. Okay, we got almost one. <laughs> okay, three. Yeah, we only need... Oh, no, we needed the fourth. Okay, well, we can start crafting, I guess. Um, reservoir do that and then I need to make a second cauldron I thought I did no, I didn't okay and then we can set that up and then 
There we go. Put that in here. And we got a second reservoir. Sick. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, I'll need to set up a... Uh, what is that? Harvester, I think. Yes, harvester. So I'll need to get power down here. Um, but I need to make another test rack for that. So I'll do that another day. But for now, um, put this right here. And then bucket here. And I think I just need a second one. Um, yeah, I've been living off toast for a while and uh, it's good but it's not the greatest so hopefully with um, with this farm we can get that ready so we need to make a water tank so let's clear an area here I want it to be a big boy um, okay hold on this is the one thing that's annoying about like I feel like Minecraft, like modern-ish Minecraft, or like even 1.7.10, um, it uses so much, like there's so much grass everywhere, um, which especially in modern Minecraft, like kills you with how many like seeds there are. Um, so let's do a three tall. Um, oops. Oops. Oh, of course. Okay. I, I, I can do it from down here. It's not too bad. Let's do five. I didn't actually measure it all, so hopefully it's not a... Hopefully I have enough. The answer is probably not. The answer is definitely not. Okay. Uh, I can make some more really quick. I have a bunch of wood on me. Let's see. So we need this to hold. Um, so we're going to set up sprinklers so that we don't have to have like wood everywhere or uh, like water everywhere. We can use a sprinkler and then um, and then that also speeds up the growing process, which is really nice. So okay, I need a few more. But yeah, okay. That. Uh, th these past couple episodes, I've been like, for example, trying to like edit more, uh, so like it cuts out more. But I feel like something like this, um, it's nice to uh, show off, I guess. Do a project start to finish on camera. I'm at like 23 minutes, so I'll probably have to cut out some soon. But I also just. I'm doing the basic amount. Okay, so we got that. Um, just to make it look like, ooh, okay, I can't do that. Just to make it look somewhat better. Um, like any amount helps, I guess. We'll do that, and then what we can do is pull these out here, and then flow into that um, so that should pump water go up and see yes okay so this holds quite a bit um, so now what we do actually I should be up here anyway because I need the next part up here so the water tank starts there so we need irrigation here. Let's see. So I'm only going to do a small bit here. I don't know how much these sprinklers like give, um, but I think two on each side will be good. So if I do like this and then here, that'd be the next row. And then I just keep going down here and then 
I didn't think this part through, I guess. Like, back here maybe. And then I'll give, again, like two on each side. Okay, please. Of course. Okay. See, that gives two if I break this. Cool. And then I can connect here so that water gets there faster. Um, and then sprinkler. Yeah, I don't know how much these do, so I can off to mess with these a little bit. Oh. Okay, so it's one, two, what is that, three blocks? One, two, three. The fourth, okay, so yeah, three out, and okay, so two, three. Ooh, okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so I'll bring it closer one, and that way, um, everything will get watered, okay, right. Just gonna water it. Oh, did I do the math wrong? One, two, three, it should be. Oh no, okay, so I need to pull in even one more. Again. Um, okay, well now I've got this down, so. Uh, one, two, three, and then. Uh, one, two, three, and then the next sprinkler will be right here. So it's like... Yeah, right here, okay. Sprinkler. Cool. Alright, um... Here, real, I'm near the end, but really quick I'll do this and just show the final product, because this is all it's going to be. One sec. Okay, I um, moved a bunch of seeds over. Um, I got these um, and I uh, just added some more stuff to it. Uh, I think uh, I added a little bit of frame just for a building, cleared some area out and that kind of thing. I think uh, I forgot to bring the glass and I didn't want to do that just yet because uh, I need to make a lot of glass. So for now, I'm a meter hit by the way. Um, I think this is a this is a good base. It's got um, like I'll add some small details. Like maybe I'll add like uh, I think no, okay, never mind. I'll have to oh great. Like I want to add some minor things like maybe you find a way to make it look like these are hanging from the ceiling instead of just floating or um, things like that and then I need to set up the like auto farms here um, but I need to like make test racks and all that stuff and um, right now this is the the most important part we got this bit set up um, I need to the bug is out for some reason. Okay. So yeah, this is uh this is pretty good. I need to get more gardens and fill this in. Um, and then when they all sort it and all that kind of stuff. But for now this is uh this is pretty good. I've got I need to like put a ton of these in. Like I'll probably just keep uh turning these seeds or turning the so we get into seeds and then um, just keep growing because we need a ton of string um, so that we can make wool but I mostly just wanted to record this a bit that's uh, I also may move that but we got uh, main bits down um, maybe next episode we'll do an animal farm I don't know but we got we got something that's pretty good um, that's gonna be it for today, though. Um, 
update this next episode, show what I've done. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. See you.